Huh. Did you... I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, but nothing beats a real-world example. And I have a new rad treatment I was just itching to try out on a live subject. But I guess you're right. And at least it keeps you safe and sound for later testing. Here's some spare chems for your help. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? What better reward for avoiding explosives than to pay you with explosives? Frag grenades, in this case. I got a pretty good haul of them recently. And if you bring me back something to study, maybe I can make some modifications for you. Nothing like tinkering with a live mine, right? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground, like potatoes. And hot because, um, they, uh, e explode. Anyway, what's up? They say it was a town called Ridgefield, until slavers cleared it out. Now, it's supposedly cursed and just a death trap to visitors. Now, everyone calls the place Minefield and says it's a ghost town. Superstitious nonsense, of course, but that's how people think. You'll be fine. How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's not just because they say the place is haunted, is it? Because that's no reason to avoid the place. Ghosts don't exist. But landmines do. Oh boy, do they. And that's what we need to study. Unless it's a steaming pile of slag, I'd say yes. Come back soon. That's all.
this.
capital wasteland, it is I, Three Dog, your ruler. Hear me and obey. Oh, sorry. That's that other radio station. Ah, yes. Time for the news. A paladin wants the most. And no, this ain't one of our buddies from the Brotherhood. I'm talking about that knight in shining vault suit. Oh, boy. Children, you are going to love. And then I told you somebody else crawled out of there, too. Right. Well, guess who came to visit old Three Dog at his luxurious studio in beautiful downtown D.C.? That's right, the other vault dweller. Now, you want to know if it gets better, don't you? Well, hell yes, it gets better. Turns out vault dweller number two was none other than James's kid. I know, I know, I couldn't make this shit up. Okay, but now it gets kind of sad. You see, the kid is looking for his dad. Looking for James. See, James left Vault 101 without telling me he died. Now, I've since learned that James is a scientist and is working on something big. Is that why he left the vault? out, man, and he misses you, so you might want to find him before he gets swallowed up and spit out, and for all you other cats out there listening, if you see the kid,
time. This is Three Dog. Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. And now, some music. Here's to... Are you again? Huh? I do? I don't think so, but go ahead and take a look if you want. Things heavy. My pockets. I'm not sure. Here, take a look. I'm a slave now. Don't kill me, please. I'm going.
Thanks to you, we finally have that sniper Arkansas in a collar. You have no idea how many good men that prick put into the dirt. I'm tempted not to sell him, just so we can torment him. Use him for target practice or something. <laughs> Here's another collar. Keep those hoochies rolling in and you'll be rich in no time. Which one do you want to know about? Sure. You are... Yeah, yeah. Go on up, hotshot. Just don't screw around or things will get ugly. No second chances. Got it? are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Not quite as much of a ghost town as they say, is it? Good work staying calm and collected under pressure. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. Well, I can't force you to work, I suppose. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. <laughs> 